Hey folks, I'm Tavine Glory, and welcome to part 17 of my Peninsular campaign in Napoleonic Total War 3. Uh, so, Wellesley continues to push back the French. Last time out we defeated an army in Va uh, Valencia. Uh, so I'm hoping that the Spanish will finish that off. Uh, allow me to push Wellesley's army up towards Barcelona. And we've got Beresford's army in here, and that's heading up to the northwest. Uh, because there was a French army we spotted operating up here somewhere. Uh, so trying to get our spies over and route it out, and then we'll try and deal with that as well. And Beresford has this small uh, Spanish corps operating with him. Uh, we're at the end of the turn, so let's just move on. I was thinking about recruiting another uh, infantry unit for Beresford's army. But... The length of time it will take to get over there. I don't know if it's actually going to make it. Well, we can always just get it anyway. Although we can't recruit from the... Really? I thought we could recruit in Porto. Okay. Um, let's bring in... Yeah, line infantry rather than the light infantry. I think the inner skillings had more troops, they had 210. Um, Portuguese do a fine job. Uh, but I think I will go with the. Where are they? And a skillings. Takes two turns. Oh well, I don't think they're going to get into the battle, but let's get them anyway. And move on. There we go. In fact, then that's the one that I'd seen before. So there are two armies there, but that's fine. One each. So I don't know who this is. Neither of them are Napoleon, obviously. But this guy looks a bit more experienced. You. Can you actually... No, you can't uh, carry out any attack. Um, espionage or anything against him. We'll move you over there just to keep an eye on that area. Where's this other guy? You head up here. Can you reach him? Yes, comfortably. Okay, I think we'll go and attack you. Bring this guy over. I just want to make sure that I've always got eyes on them wherever they go. And we'll bring Wellesley's... Uh, is that French army still down there? It must be somewhere. Let's bring you down. Okay, you can't see it, never mind. Wellesley, you will push up here. And we've got plenty of money. How much do we make? 400. So we can easily support that unit once it's uh, arrived in the country. Let's get the Spanish over here. Anything more? And Beresford, come in and attack. Okay, so it's Drouet once again. And mostly militia. Some line infantry and some skirmishers. No cannon and some provisional chasseurs de cheval. Okay. Let's just go ahead and fight. So 
I'm hoping that the Spanish troops, when they begin to arrive, uh, it's the cavalry that come in first. They are British cavalry and detach them from Beresford's army. Just to give the, the Spanish a bit more bite in case they were isolated at some point. Okay, I'm going to set up the army. Uh, pause the video just now and I'll come back when that's done. Okay, so here's our setup. Uh, we've got some our skirmishers brigaded together. We're going to send them up into the woods here. The French are over there. We have our artillery in here. It's not the best field of fire. Uh, well, actually, I should say it's not a great field of fire, but it is the best that we can get at the moment. Uh, if we would set up on the right, we would actually have to bring the cannon up to about here to get uh, clear shots in here. So leave them there where they are. Then get uh, infantry in three brigades. We've got one there and one there. Just going to advance forward. And we've got our third foot guards, the jocks and the artificers back here as our reserve. And the cav over on the right flank. The cav, we've got uh, 42 light dragoons and the KGL Hussars. So let's start the battle. And we have reinforcements coming in from somewhere. Uh, so let's start off with the skirmishers advancing up there. The cannon have opened up. In case you hadn't noticed. So as usual, it looks like the French army is pulling back from their prepared positions. Or <laughs> leaving their prepared, position, prepared positions. Uh, actually, this battery here, I think. Yeah, it's shrapnel artillery, and the general's away already. Uh, four casualties, he was unlucky. Yeah, so we've got some shrapnel. Uh, rounds going up there. And these guys... Oh no, we've got the Voltigeurs back there. They've taken some casualties as well. They're marching to the sound of the guns, it looks like. Okay, let's get the infantry on the move. Nothing fancy, just got there and they're coming towards us. Okay, I was thinking about sending the cav out to scout, but instead of that, you take up flanking position. And skirmishers, I want you in to light infantry mode. Get yourself spread out, you're in skirmish mode as well. Where are the Spanish coming from? And behind, that's good. So you could just come up and link up with the other general. General staff leading the advance. I don't have any cab for me to worry about. Let's have you form line here. You there. What's our artillery vision like? It's not too bad, you can shoot over the heads of our troops, especially these guys with their shrapnel. And remembering that we're up against a load of militia, hopefully their morale will break before they get anywhere close to us. What's this? Oh, they do have cav! I have to worry about it. I forgot. Yeah, they've got a couple of regiments of cheval. Sh 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 chasseurs a cheval. Alright. Bear that in mind. Uh, just obviously shoot at them if you can. Uh, we've got this cav from the Spanish division. 
Let's get you over there. Because he might well go for our kin. Right. You get forward and start shooting them in the flank. And you probably need to change face in a bit to get these guys into range. The was broken there already. Good stuff. You you're facing the wrong direction. Another cab, where is it? I need you to run. Go and engage them, please. And this cab here. Oh, you've been chasing off after those others. Didn't even know it. <laughs> what a bad general. Too focused in on their uh, infantry to remember that they had cav. Right, you come back over here. guys come up here, they're into the guns just about. So you are attacking them I hope. Skirmishers have had enough. And oh, and well, that's the skirmishers as well. So that was the artillery crew. Okay, let's get our cav over here. You change the canister if they're close enough. No, they're not. Missed a chance. Alright. Well, you guys. Just drive them off. this actually the voltigures attack them you head up there and, uh, continue from now let me see let me see you go for the Voltigures. Where are the decent troops? That's such as they were. You can actually come over there, we'll go for the Cav. Uh, and we'll send you... Yeah, you go after them as well. I know it's a forest, but do what you can. And we'll limber up the artillery so we don't take any friendly fire. I don't think I'll bother sending the infantry to chase them down. I'd rather just meet them in combat a second time. Okay, so you stay after them. I wonder what the butcher's bill was in there. Skirmishers, where are they? They all routed. No, they're not all routed. Looks like one of them's gone. Right. You stay on them. You. Is there anything else worth. Yeah, there's Voltigures there. Okay, don't know why you're stood watching. Go and attack. It's an outbreak of mercy from the British Cavalry. 
Okay. So, our guys, don't, oh, you're after them. Well, I think they're done. So, as long as we've taken out their cav, I'm happy with that. They've been whittled away as we speak. Yeah, and you're just going after the, the militia now. And there still are a lot of them. There's enough there for the army. Well, the army's not going to be effective, let's face it. Uh, after this battle, and they folded so quickly. So I think we'll just end the battle here. Heroic victory. The last one we had was a, deemed a close victory when we lost something like 170 troops and they lost... So the, the win loss ratio is about the same between those two battles. Um, but who knows? So the grasshoppers uh, down to almost 50%. Yeah. Quite annoyed at forgetting about their cav. I thought it was safe to go chasing that. It was no artillery. That's what would confuse me. Um, but overall, the army's still in fighting shape. Okay. Get moderate replenishment rate because you are Spanish. I don't know if you can hear weird, <laughs> it's like 1980s computer sounds. That's coming from the, the game. Uh, hopefully, when we move on, that'll disappear. But let's keep the pressure on this army for now. I'd imagine Beresford could take that one as well, but I let him continue after the weaker army. Well, as they can swing east at west and deal with them. And I don't think I can build anything. Um, we can get roads in there. Let's spend some money on that. I haven't even looked at our ship for a long time. It's just sitting there. Keeping the Straits of Gibraltar safe. Alright. With that then. We've already brought you up. We did. Let's end the turn. I really can't understand the AI's logic sometimes. I thought they'd have reinforced that, the French would have reinforced that army rather than having its troops march past it. But, obviously they had a plan. Uh, Guerrilla training network is complete. Good stuff. We have our unit recruited and we have our building. So I'll start making 400, even after adding that uh, other line unit to our establishment. Let's bring you across. Head for Saragossa. You never know, you might see some action before the end. And I've lost sight of that French army, despite all these spies around. Okay, not there. Vivo para servirle, señor. Llevaré nuestros 
vuestro mensaje hasta allí. No hay tanto por hacer. No hay tanto por hacer. And that's just shade from the clouds. So we've got vision in that entire region and we cannot see the army at all. But that's okay. Uh, Wellesley. Could have you go and take the harbour here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's send our Spanish up to sit on the road. We'll bring you up. Um, you can siege them in. No, you can't. You're actually at the extreme limit of your range. Right, so Wellesley, let's get you up here. Take this army. And we've just ought to resolve this one. And then you can head over in this direction. In fact, hit that town on the way past. Right. Let's see if they sally out. I don't think they will. Especially if we tuck you guys in a bit closer. That, I think we'll end the turn. I wanted to have a look and see if I could find that. Oh, the Spanish have come down to take Mercia. What's going on? The Spanish, the French. What's going on? Spain, you should have an army down here dealing with these guys. Not only that, but they're recruiting some half decent units. Hmm. That's an annoyance. I wanted to just finish them off here. Hmm. I wonder if we've got a bit of money. Could I have the Spanish? I don't think the Spanish could come down there and deal with that force that's there, but I wonder if they could go up and take out the towns. If they don't have armies in them, they should. The, the Spanish should be able to deal with just the garrison forces that arise. But anyway, uh, let's end the turn. Anything more? Okay, so. They uh, hang on, who's ambushing whom? No, seriously, who is ambushing? So... <laughs> so I suppose if there's an army there... I was wondering how this guy, the army that's besieged, because oh, they're not besieged, that's the thing. Uh, well, anyway. Hmm. We do have Cav, and it is only provincial militia for the most part. Hmm. 
let's can we see the map where's the map Are we can we not see so I'm not sure if I'm ambushing uh, yeah we deploy second they deploy first so we're ambushing these guys okay I think we'll fight it then but needs to do that in the next part. So shortish episode this time out. Um, but thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And hope to see you again next time. Cheers.